Hey guys, how are you guys doing? Um, first and foremost, I post the video and uh, I just want you guys to watch this video again. So uh, I'm going to explain it. Watch it. He's right here. Yeah. Then why is the moon over there? Oh, wait. Whoa. What? How does that happen? Because we're in the middle. If the, but wait. look, the moon is oh. right there in front <laughs> of the sun. Wait. But the moon is over here. Why is the moon right there if it's supposed to be in front of the sun? Here, I'm using these right here. That is, that's insane. Do you see that? If the moon is right there in front of the sun, then why is it over there? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna Google that. That can't be, or the flatter. You guys saw the video, right? Basically, I did a video on this before. I said this was a, a, another lady also did the video. I saw the video on Twitter um, where we were, uh, I was explaining. Uh, if you go back into uh, my page, I was letting people know that the moon is not going to eclipse the sun. On April 8th, the moon and the sun were actually beside each other. They weren't aligned. Something eclipsed the sun something did i call it heaven there are people out there that call it planet x nemesis whatever you want to call it no a court the reason why i say heaven is because it relate better to the people who are the 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 the, the people who are all into that bible i get it so when i say that it's confusing but they get it immediately the holder rollers that's what i call them the holder rollers not that i'm saying i'm not I'm, I'm, I believe in God. I do. I've seen evidence of God. I'm not denying it. I know what the Bible is. I know the history of the Bible. The Bible is not a religious book. And I know I'm going to get bashed for this. The Bible is actually a historical book. Historical event that happened. I'm not denying that these events didn't happen. But over the years, that water have been mucky. They've disturbed it. Meaning, things have been rewritten over and over and over again so it have in some way lost some form of authenticity to that book because it was rewritten back in uh 313 AD they took 800 years the last time they rewrote the bible king james which was given the order by emperor emperor constantine who was the first pope they rewritten the whole thing now the reason why i'm, I'm talking about this is because in the bible one of the most common thing is God is coming back, or creator, whoever created us. It's true. It's not what you think. They're not coming on horses blowing trumpet. These angels are not doing that. They're in spacecrafts. Uh, Jesus is coming back with an army. He's coming back with an army of giants. They're called the Anunnaki's, okay? Um, so basically what you saw, every 3,000, 600 years a planet from a binary system enter our solar system um what happened it's coming from under it's coming up into our solar system all right our, this is the sun planets are revolving around the sun over and over i think now we have eight planets pluto is no longer a planet i think they downgraded to a moon i don't know if they upgraded back to it, but i don't know what they're doing because i really don't keep a track of nasa anymore i, I don't have time for them so anyway, you get what my point, right? Our soul, that what we're used to with Pluto and all that, Earth, Venus, Mars, Mercury, blah, 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 blah. They were over on the sun like that. Now there's a, another solar system that intertwined with our solar system every 3,600 years where that where the end planet, the planet furthest away from the sun, enter our solar system, but it come up from, it come up from the bottom into our solar system and then go back out of our solar system. But while it's in our solar system, it takes a, a lot of years to get back out of our solar system. During those years is what you call an epoch time. You're going to see things you have never seen before. The one who created us is coming back. He's coming back with an army. And what you saw in the clips, that's their home. That's their planet. Your Buru, planet X, whatever you want to call it. I call it heaven so I can relate better to the holy rollers because i get banged by them a lot don't know why all right 
and take it however you want to take it. That video, it's a real video. I'm getting a lot of messages say, oh yeah, you guys tamper. No, that's a real video. I did mention that that was going to happen. It happened and you see it for yourself. What you guys witnessed wasn't an eclipse of the moon. It was an eclipse caused by a planet from a binary system. And great, I've seen a lot of great footage, but there's another picture a lady sent me where that thing that passes the sun had a moon around it. Listen to what I'm say, to, saying to you. That planetary body that goes in front of the moon to create the eclipse, that body also had a moon with it. And in our binary system, all right, that interact with our solar system have four moons. I'm aware of that. All right, guys? Our solar system is a binary solar system. We have two suns. We have a yellow sun, which is actually white. It's not yellow. It's just that when we look at it from here on Earth, it looked like yellow, yellow lights. No, it's actually a white, white sun. And there's a dark sun. All right? And that the, 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 the big, bigger sun, which is one interacting with our solar system now that we're not used to seeing, is actually creating all of this gravitational pull, which is the earthquake and all that stuff that's actually going on. And there's nothing we can do to stop this. We just have to enjoy the ride. I hope this video helps because I've been getting a lot of message about it. Um, in the future, I try to do more information on this. I don't want to get too deep into it because I don't want, I'm not trying to confuse people. And this is a topic where people, it will just set them off the cliff and they go just go haywire because in a way, they think I'm going against what the Bible is saying, and really and truly, I'm not. I'm just going into more details to what the Bible is saying, okay? Because a lot of this message were actually taken out of the Bible, believe it or not, all right?